Hi everyone, welcome to my latest video review. I do apologize for being MIA for a very long time. Um, yeah, so I was thinking of getting back to doing video reviews and doing it on a little bit more regular basis. And I thought, well, what better way to start them with these figures here, um, with Hasbro taking over the franchise and also the show and everything this would just be perfect um this video will comprise of two parts first part i'm going to talk about the packaging because i'm or i'm like very impressed with the amount of work that went into the packaging um yeah so let's get started as you can tell right off the bat the packaging they put a lot of effort into it it's nicely personalized with graphic artwork of each individual ranger and also the figures itself are very nicely detailed and something i also noticed is the way they have the power rangers logo they have power rangers all on the bottom there and on the top it says beast morphers and that's a unique way of having things as if you remember from bandai let me show you a vintage Bandai figure. Then this is from like way back from White Speed. They always had like um, like the lo logo all together, either on oh, either over here or on the top here. Power Rangers Ice Speed Rescue. It's so funny because if you compare the older cards to these ones, you can see how drastically big they are. But yeah, so let's continue with this review here. And also the display of the back of the figure is pretty amazing. So you can tell the big detailed focused figure is the figure that's in the box here. And the background is the other figures that you can collect in a later time. It also has nice graphic artwork of the other figures that you can collect and it says on the top there also look for and something really awesome um i'm not sure if bandai's ever i can't remember if bandai ever did this in the past they included um attachments for the morpher like individual key attachments and i'm guessing they might have um unique sounds we'll find that out in the next review where i'm gonna be doing the review of the blues normally i would do them all together because the packaging is very generic and nothing special but i'm really impressed with the amount of work that went into this and also the weapons are nicely detailed it's not just generic black weapons or yellow weapons or whatever it is and let me show you the red ranger here the red ranger comes with a special weapon here and i do want to apologize i never really watched go busters or kept up well i am watching beast morphers slowly getting used to um the weapons and whatever but this looks like his main gun i don't know the name of it here's the back of the oops sorry about that the red ranger figure from the front to the back honestly they did an amazing job you can really tell the pride and the love that went into creating these figures and even the packaging it's like it really feels like okay this is um this is this is our like um our project we're gonna do it with great uh, pride and really give it our all because the figures are nicely detailed it's not just in any packaging it's in very great detailed um it's nicely detailed everything about it is amazing because bandai would always try to skip corners thinking maybe people would notice or the packaging sometimes wasn't that impressive but it didn't happen this time around and it's really awesome this is the back of the yellow ranger figure or the card i do apologize if my reviews seem off because i'm still getting used to doing them again after a while but yeah, don't worry, I'll be doing them in a more regular basis. Something I did notice, I thought I was just seeing things, is that, let me actually see if I'm just... 
Yeah, it is actually true. So the Yellow Ranger's card is a slight bit bigger than the Red Ranger, than, than the other two. I don't know, maybe it's whatever. Maybe I'm seeing things. But yeah, that's um, basically it. Um, the, for the amount of work that went into it, you do have to pay a little bit more. I'm quoting Canadian prices in Canada. We paid like $9.99. For the five inch each five inch figure and then i think 7.99 or 6.99 for the tiny samurai mega force figures but these ones were 12.99 and honestly i don't mind spending the extra two three dollars if we're getting amazing figures that look like this and the amount of work that went to the packaging i'm honestly impressed as far as availability goes right now to my understanding, from what I've read in Power Rangers forums and news outlets, that these are not available at the U.S. as of now. I'm not, again, I'm not too sure about that. And also, I did get wording from um, Toys R Us uh, representative that told me uh, these were actually supposed to be released March 31st, but got a very early release uh, date. Date. And also a piece of advice, yellow, especially yellow, but yellow and blue are very hard to find. So if you guys cannot buy all three together, I would leave red for last because this red range is everywhere. Like I've been to three, four Toys R Us and it's flooding with red range of figures. Yellow, I did not find at all. And I mean, of course, not until now and blue. After grab, I grabbed him when I saw him right away, and I did not see another Blue Ranger figure again. So, um, if you can only buy two figures, not all three at the same time, go for your yellow and blue. And if you're even most more so limited and only can buy the one figure, not and have to leave two behind, get yellow. And I cannot stress that enough because yellow, I had a really kind person at uh, Toys R Us that I had to contact, and he put the figure aside for me. And that's how I got it, because if he hadn't done that, uh, I was there was no way I would have gotten yellow this fast, because it's not available anywhere. It's like during Lightspeed Rescue and Lost Galaxy, where the females were like scarce, where you can even find one. But yeah, with that said, I'm impressed. I've never actually collected any Hasbro toys. This is my first time. As a first time collector from of Hasbro ties, I'm impressed and yeah definitely impressed um, one thing I do want to point out though they did give us resealable packaging again because I remember we had them during um, I don't know if they went up to dine from Samurai to Dino Charge but yeah so this is um, as you can tell it's like taped up here so you can easily like remove the tape and remove the packaging if you want to reseal them again. It's a perfect idea, especially for collectors who like to um, open and also seal their stuff as well. Well, that's my review. And if you guys have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to ask. Always comment and and thank you so much for always watching my videos. And again. I'm still getting the hang of things. It's been a while. So please excuse any like flaws you may have um, seen. And always please subscribe. It does help. Thank you so much. And please keep a lookout for my other reviews. Thank you and have a great day.